mentioned that the audit team leaving early is a good sign, but couldn't it just be that they went back for the holiday period for Thanksgiving and for Hanukkah and for Christmas and it isn't necessarily something that we should be looking at as a, something that's indicative of sub substantive progress is going to be made? I think I think no. I think I think the fact that they went early wasn't really their holiday plans as, as the forefront of their minds. You know, as I said, we, we, we feel them leaving early is a good sign. Um, I don't think for the medium term it necessarily changes people's outlook on where they want to be positioned when it comes to ADRs and Chinese tech ADRs specifically. Um, but leaving early seems to be positive and we're hopeful that some level of announcement will be made earlier than they first suggested, maybe as, maybe as early as the beginning of December. Um, but I think for the medium term you've still got to have some level of uncertainty. And, and yes, true, the geopolitical arena seems to have improved somewhat, um, but the, the overall tone from where Congress will lead, I don't think is really going to change that much um, when it comes to their, their, uh, their attachment to the rhetoric that they've been putting on to the DRs. So from, for us, we would still prefer to lessen our positions in DRs um, and really look for either H's or pre predominantly the A's. Right, but, but the fact that, you know, well, the Reuters copy that we read uh, indicated that, it, it, you know, but the oversight board in the U.S. had enough access to documents, were given enough access to documents, even though there might be some hesitancy in doing that, uh, indicated that, that, that the Chinese on their part and the Chinese regulator on, on its part were, uh, were willing to cooperate. Isn't that uh, positive overall? It, it is, but I think if you're going to now going for, I mean, the, the whole paradigm of, of Chinese investment from a DR point of view seems to have changed. And I, and I feel that that's probably now not going to go back to what it once was. I feel that both the corporates themselves um, coming out of China, especially newly listed ones in the, in the coming hopeful year um, where we see IPOs, will prefer to choose Hong Kong as a listing destination over the US because I just feel that the risk that that associates with them is relatively difficult for them to stomach going forward. Also, I feel that from an investor's point of view, it's much, much easier to take off one level of risk by not having um, a DR listing. Um, whether that means that the primary listing moves from, say, New York to Hong Kong, and there is a concept of primary secondary shift, which we've seen a lot of people do, and or the prospect of um, personal delisting or voluntarily delisting and relisting in Hong Kong, we feel that that trend is going to maintain and continue. So there will be obviously huge, huge positions um, in terms of listings still into the US, and that will continue to be, to be seen. Um, but the middle to the mid, mid to smaller cap names for us doesn't really make sense that they carry on in terms of their listing there. And slowly but surely, we feel um, that the benefit of Hong Kong Stock Exchange will be that, you know, changing to that VEE structure sure. and the listing capability probably sees that move back to or move to Hong Kong.